Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have a little haul for you guys today. Doo -doo -doo. So I did some shopping this weekend and purchased some items. Um, I did go to Ulta and I also purchased some other products in other stores. Um, these are mostly, no, they are all drugstore makeup. So they're not any high end. I do have a high end video that hopefully I'm gonna be doing soon. Um, but I'm trying to gather those products little by little as I purchase them and just not use them and just kind of let it accumulate so that I have a really good haul to show you guys. Just because the high end, we all know it's a little bit more pricey, so it's a lot harder to get more product in. So, um, yeah, so if you want to see what I have in this bag, just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to hit the, um, also don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you are notified of any videos that I post. Um, one last thing, just to address the elephant in the room, if you guys notice, I did dye my hair. I did go a little bit of a, um, it's just, it doesn't look as red as it looks on camera. I think on camera it looks a lot redder, but it's actually just kind of like a chocolate brown. Um, I used to have dark brown hair and then I tried to go lighter, but as I went lighter, it just looked a lot more um, mistreated, so I decided to go back darker. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in your comments down below. So, further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Woo! Okay. I'm excited. I'm like a little girl when it comes to opening new products and stuff. So, um, the first thing that I purchased that I wanted to show you guys is a seaweed sheet mask. Looks like this. I hope you guys can see that. And it says smooth, smooth, moisturize, more. Oh, I can't talk today. So, smooth, smooth, oh. smooth, moisturizes, and hydrate. There we go. Um, it contains seaweed extract, aloe leaf extract, and sea grape, ex sea grape <laughs> extract. That's a mouthful, you guys. Sorry, it's a little hard to read. Um, so what it says is it seaweed sheet mask contains seaweed, aloe, and sea grape extracts that help soothe dry skin, leaving it moisturized and hydrated. So I am definitely excited to try this. I do have very dry skin, so I, hopefully this is going to work for me. And I purchased this, I think it was in Walgreens. It was really affordable. It's like $2.99, so I'm definitely excited to try that. Um, the next item that I the next item that I purchased is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, and this is in the shade 100 Topaz Winkle. So it looks like this. I hope you guys can see it has the glitter, and then it's kind of a neutral. So it is an eyeshadow um, with the glitter. I've been dying to try the Stila glitters. Um, I just watched them at the store and I love them. However, they are really pricey. So I was looking for something that was more of a dupe. I don't know if this is going to be a dupe, but we're going to give it a try and I will let you know my thoughts. Um, but I have heard some really good reviews about this one. So we'll, we'll definitely take a look and see. Um, the next thing I purchased um, was an inf the Infallible Paints. And this is the Infallible Paint Liquid Liner in the shade Electric Blue. It's just like a liquid liner. It looks like it's going to be a felt tip. Well, it is a felt tip. So it is a felt tip. Um, and it's just this shocking blue intense. And I actually purchased this because I like the mascara as well. And I wanted to kind of do a look for you guys now that we're coming into the spring and summer. And I love spring and summer just because you can use um, different colors and have those kind of funky color looked, looks um, in your eyes um, and I wanted to definitely try that out so I have actually the the liner liquid liner and I purchased the volume voluminous original mascara in cobalt blue it's like this so yeah I'm excited to give these a try and let you know you let you guys know my thoughts on that and then the next item that I purchased was I actually purchased this next item in Walmart and it's the Essence I'm sorry was it Walmart no this was also Ulta 
and it's the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and it just says for lighting for lighter skin it's in the shade natural it's this really pretty matte bronze powder it does look a little light so it might be a little bit too light for my skin tone but I am kind of light skin I guess <laughs> or not necessarily pale I'm like light and beige just on the lighter beige yeah so I do look a lot wider in camera though by the way so um yeah we'll give it a try and see how I like this but I'm really excited to try I like the fact that it's matte um I do like the shade it's not too orange but again we have to see if it's just that it's you know not too light for my for my skin shade for my skin tone um, matte bronzing powder for a natural sun kissed tan perfect for lighter skin types so yeah I think this um, I want to say about $3.99 between $3.99 and $5.99 is what I purchased this for um, I will leave the actual price down below in the description box but I think that's exactly what I paid for so I'm not quite sure so yeah um, the next item that I purchased also from that same brand is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the, sh oops, in the shade Be My Highlight. Now, I know that, um, I think it was Kathleen Lights that actually raved about this product and I'm hoping that this is the one that she was referring to. Uh, when I was at the store, I couldn't remember and I couldn't find the video where she was talking um, about it. The she... next product, random product that I purchased, this is kind of random, but it is makeup related, so, is the Rosy Lips Vaseline Lip Therapy for Soft Pink Lips. And it's this cute little Vaseline. You can see. And the reason I purchased this is because every night before I go to bed, I do like to hydrate my lips. I do a lot of scrubbing on my lips just because I have really dry lips. So I think after scrubbing, this would probably be really good to try on my lips. Also, um, while I'm prepping my skin, use a little bit of Vaseline. That's what that way, when I go to apply my lipstick and my lip liner, my lips are nice and hydrated. Um, so yeah, I want to try this out and see how it looks. I usually just use the regular Vaseline, but I saw this one. I saw it was pink and it's small and really cute and. Um, I want to try it so yeah purchase that Rimmel soft cold cajal eyeliner pencil in the shade pure white As you can see that it's just pure white eyeliner pencil just to kind of give you an idea I don't know so it applies really nicely it's soft it's not super gel like or creamy but it applies nice. I think it's going to apply good without having to really rub it on there. I'm excited to try this. I didn't have a white eyeliner. And eyeliners for me are something that when it comes to colored eyeliners, like the white one or um, color, any kind, of, any kind of color eyeliner, I don't spend money on buying high end just because they're not products that I use every day. If it's a nude eyeliner or a black eyeliner, then yes, I don't mind spending on a Makeup Forever or Marc Jacobs eyeliner or anything like that because they're products that I'm going to be using frequently and um, you'll get definitely get your money's worth of the use. So I personally, anytime it's any eyeliner that I'm not going to be using on a daily basis, like white, blue, whatever the color may be. I tend to go for the cheaper ones just because I'll probably use it once every blue moon. So, the next product that I purchased, and I'm super excited to try this, is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And everyone and their mama talks about this highlight. I mean, this highlight, I've heard so many things about it. Um, Laura Lee. If you don't follow her, she's amazing. I love her. She actually did a recent video on um, highlights, and she said good good things about this highlight, as well as Kathleen Lights. I mean, I've heard a lot of people really, a lot of the the bigger YouTubers really rave about this product, and it was super cheap. I think I paid like five or six bucks for it, but I think this product might be comparable to. Um, 
the balm, the Mary Luminizer, just a little bit on the golder side. Um, and I mean, it looks like it might be a dupe for that, but again, don't quote me on that. I think maybe the Mary Luminizer is probably a little bit lighter, champagne-y, and this is probably a little bit more of the golden, so. But I'm really excited to try this. So the next product I purchased, they were not at the drugstore, but they are drugstore price, if not better price. <laughs> um, and what I purchased were the Morphe brush lashes. And I have in the style 747XXXS. So it's these really wispy type. And then the next one I purchased is the number 110, which is a little bit more fuller. So if you actually put them side by side, let's see. Make sure you guys can see. Hello. <laughs> okay, so if you guys can see the difference. And um, they were a dollar. On the Morphe website so you can't get any better than that and um, I don't know I don't remember mentioning but I probably did um, me personally I have a hard time applying falsies so I don't use a lot of them I do use for some looks um, and occasions but because I don't use a lot of them it is a little difficult for me to apply them so and I sometimes often even destroy them before I actually get them on my eyes so Comment down below if you've ever had that issue, but um, I find that purchasing these that are cheaper, because they're only a dollar, um, I don't feel as bad if I destroy them, if I mess them up, or, you know, wh whatever it is, because they're really cheap. You know, I really hate to spend 10, 15, 20 bucks on a pair of lashes that I'll probably destro destroy trying to get it on my eyes, so... Um, I think these are really good. I've heard good reviews about them. They're probably not 100% the best quality, but um, I've heard some good reviews about it. And for what I want them, they'll do. So I have a few more products that I wanted to share. And the next product that I have is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in the shade Naughty Navy. And that's just this really pretty navy blue crown. And I just got this one because sometimes you want to do something with glitter or you need to add on a base depending on if you're going to use a shimmer shadow or me personally I like to use the ColourPop shadows especially if I'm going to use a navy color or a dark um, charcoal black whatever the color is and I like to use these type of pencils as base because it just makes it look, it makes it pop. Um, and it makes the color more intense. So it says 24 hours waterproof hydro fudge. Anyone know what a, anyone know what a hydro fudge is? I don't. So if you know, leave the comments down below. The next product I purchased, the next product I have for you guys is the Wet n Wild What's Up Doc. Just a regular lipstick. It's the What What's Up Doc lipstick. And it's this really pretty pink. It's like a pinky orange. It's kind of like the, the shade of my shirt. Just a little bit more fuchsia and a little bit more orangey. But it's a really pretty color. So I'm coming down to the next few products. And the, the next product that I wanted to show you is the e.l.f. Flat Eyeliner. And I've been wanting one of these because I see sometimes in the videos that it's used for... Um, the lower lash line just because it's easier to eyeliner, to do the liner with one of these flat eyeliner brushes so I wanted to give it a try and um, I didn't know if I was gonna like it so I wanted to go ahead and go with one of the more affordable options and depending on if I like it if I like how it works under my eye I probably ordered one that's a little bit more high-end or um, stick with either the Morphe brushes, which I really love, um, and or even act. This is for me one of the the um, most exciting products out of everything that I've showed you guys today. So um, it is the it's the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. So they're all matte eyeshadows. And it's sealed, so I can't get it open. Give me just a second. 
because this I do have to open and swatch for you guys. At least one or two colors. Okay, so I have the stickers. Hi, here's the packaging. And this is what it looks. Oh, I think the colors are beautiful. They're like any, oh, I just dug my nail. Oh, no. Eh, well, okay. So this is what the palette looks like. Please excuse my raggedy nails. Good time for us. So you have all your neutrals. You have they're mostly neutrals, but you have your pops of color here and there. So you have your your pop of color here with the red, a light blue, and it looks more like a periwinkle in person. And you have your purple, your mauvey colors, your um, neutrals, your yellow, and skin tone. And these are actually this is actually pink. And you, I don't know why the camera is not picking that up, but it's actually pink. And it comes with two sets of brushes which I don't think the brushes are terrible I mean usually these kind of palettes you can just take the brush and throw them away they're actually kind of nice they're like flat sh you know, shader brushes so um, I think they're really nice and just to kind of give you guys I haven't swatched any of this before I haven't used it but I'm dying to use this oh they're actually really really nice let's actually do a swatch here Okay, so, thoughts on the swatch. They're not super buttery, but they're nice. A miss, um, but I think nothing that a little bit of primer um, can't fix. And I'm just gonna swatch, swatch one more. So let's do two more. I was really ha I had I really had high hopes for this product. Product. So there's the light shade, the burgundy burgundy shade, the darkest charcoal shade, tar the darkest charcoal shade. Got it. And then the purple shade. So they are a little patchy. Um, they're not terrible. I think with a little bit of primer, um, we would get a better color payoff. Not super bad, but I am definitely excited to try this, play with this. This was $10 in Walmart. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you more let you know more on that when I play with it and try it out. That's that's actually the palette that I wanted to use on a, on a um, get ready with me video that I'm gonna be filming for you guys. Um, sometime next week. I did have a lip scrub for you guys to show you, but I, for some reason I can't find it, and I was pretty sure I put it all in the bag, but it's not there. So um, I will probably do either a first impression with that lip scrub or leave that for the next beauty haul that I have in mind for you guys. That will be the high end because that beauty scrub is not really a drugstore. It is a little bit more on the high-end side. Was, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.